we're looking at to, to get uh, approximately um, about 600 between 600 and 830 degrees around about there for four, four five maybe six seconds depending on the diameter on the on the specific cartridge that you get there now I've just sh showed you now I can uh, melt lead over there and that that lead melts at um, uh, 660 degrees uh, so it's it's still here it's extremely hot so you can imagine if you bring it closer uh, you half the time you um, it's uh, and and even a quarter of the time or a fifth the time from year to year uh, and that is I think we we uh, we must we must get that uh, ex you know, exactly right now people ask why propane why butane why you know another size of butane why lp gas you know everybody there's always no man you can't use propane you must use a butane you can't use this you must use this or you must use this or whatever uh the flame temperature on all of these on your propane uh uh, we look there at, at the propane temperature is uh, at 1980 degrees Celsius uh, that is on propane in air in other words uh, you don't feed it with oxygen it's just plain air uh, that we've got here uh, butane which is the uh, you know this and this canister over here it's a thousand nine hundred and seventy degrees C so it's much of a muchness. Uh, 10 degrees C is, is not going to over anneal it or under anneal it if you put the case neck in the right spot on the flame. If you look at uh, wood in, in the nature, um, it burns at 1980 uh, degrees Celsius as well. So that's the typical temperatures that you get out of these and then all of them burn the same. Uh, LP gas, uh, which is a propane, uh, it's a the LP gas that we have here is approximately 60% uh, uh, propane, 40% uh, butane. Uh, there's some other, they, they mix some other things in there as well. Uh, you would mo most probably be able to use a methane as well, uh, methane gas, um, but and that burns at a 1950 degrees Celsius. The problem with methane is you cannot contain it in a canister as a liquid so all of these if you shake it you will hear there's a liquid there's a liquid in it and here's a liquid in it but methane you cannot pressurize to a liquid that's unfortunately the 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 big um, thing that you that you won't be able to do that the other thing that you would rather use propane in circum cases than uh, or other cases than uh, or over butane uh, the temperature from which temperature that propane goes from uh, a liquid which is will be in the bottom part and at the top part here will be a gas a propane gas uh, is minus 41 degrees uh, celsius so you can use propane in a very cold area uh, if you stay in uh, the northern hemisphere and it's winter and you want to go and reload uh, then butane won't work butane only be becomes a gas at uh, about zero degrees celsius minus 0.4 degrees celsius so if it's minus 5 or minus 10 or minus 20 degrees celsius uh, <laughs> you've got uh, no gas coming out of this and if you've got a, a big bottle of, of butane standing outside your house and you feed it from there, uh, nothing will, will burn there. Whereas in the propane and the LP gas, you will have the propane that will feed the uh, burner uh, at, at that point in time. So that's basically the reasons of why uh, you, know, you use propane over uh, butane and uh, you can use the LP gas basically for uh, both of uh, these, these circumstances so I'm just going to show you what the flames look like and then uh, the, the the 
cases itself, it, how to uh, anneal it. Now, for for the very large uh, cases that, that you get, uh, you have annealing cups. You know, so you'll see uh, they are uh, different sizes over here. Uh, different ones. This one here will take up to a, a four and six rigby, uh, easy, very easy, and and even bigger, five or five gibs. Uh, this one here is is for a three seven five, uh, so that one takes it, uh, you know, very nice. Uh, this one over here is for a um, a, a thirty oh six tip, tip, typical uh, or uh, a three oh eight two four three. You know, the family of cases where they are more or less you know that size there so these are for the the really big ones um and and then the other two you can use you know for the smaller ones um if you uh, anneal two to three brass or trip two uh, brass uh, the best is to get a cup which fits a little bit closer around it so you'll see there's not much uh, space between the uh, brass itself and the the uh, aluminium uh, that it's made of uh, this helps as a heat sink as well for for the temperature so that it doesn't go down too far at a too high a heat uh, most of it will be absorbed in the front here but this is just an extra uh, safety feature you know you, this will absorb it and it will uh, be like a, a heat sink uh, that you use there so I'm going to get a couple of, of cases out here uh, that we can use. Uh, I'll, I'm going to use that one. That's the uh, 375. That's a, the 375 over there. And um, I've got a nice one here. That's a 306. So that one puts in a, sits in there fairly nice. So what I'm going to show you is where you apply your... Uh, Tempilac and there's different meanings from some people but I've, uh, I'll show you now why uh, I prefer this method you must just shake this because you know there's a, a sediment that, that goes to the bottom of it so just so while I'm shaking this one thing that you must be very careful about if, if, if you use or, or you accidentally have a, a cartridge or a case that's got a primer in it. Uh, with that, you will most probably detonate that uh, primer in there. Or the, and even if there's no uh, uh, bullet in front here, that primer might pop out and, and ricochet from something and it can damage or, or hurt yourself as well. So be very careful when you load that you don't um, accidentally load uh, or, or anneal uh, a, 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 a case with uh, a primer in it. You will definitely cause serious damage to you. That thing will take your eye out or even more serious. So this one now has turned to a nice turquoise color. Uh, it's not, not really blue or whatever, but it's, yeah. And, and this is white. Uh, the whole thing now and, and one thing about the, the Tempilac if you uh, if you buy yourself a bottle of the Tempilac and it's just one of those things you can keep the, the lid on properly you can keep it closed uh, and when you open it up um, it's uh, especially if you, if you haven't used it for a, top, for, for a while or if it's maybe about halfway down uh, then it becomes like uh, like a putty you know it's 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 it's, uh, it's it's not liquid and therefore you get uh, some thinners like this so get yourself a bottle uh, or even two bottles of thinners per bottle of uh, you know tempilac just to uh, thin the uh, uh, tempilac with now these bottles of uh, thinners um, you know, many people ask, you know, but can I use something else? What about normal thinners? What about benzene? What about this? What about that? Uh, can I use uh, Q-Tex uh, uh, thinners? You know, can I use acetone? Can I use this? You know, 
Um, and my answer is straight to that is, uh, don't try anything else. This is made for the template itself. If you start using something else uh, that's got any flammability uh, properties in it, uh, you might you might have a, a problem. So uh, use use the. Uh, uh, it's not expensive, and and this is specifically non-flammable, so it won't catch fire. You know, if if you if you have a a bottle of, of acetone close by or a bottle of thinners close by and you start messing around here with your, your mix uh, and it catches fire um, yeah well uh, it's, it, it, it won't be a good good idea so what I what I'm going to show you is where you apply this 750 degree Fahrenheit or the 399 Celsius, where you apply uh, th this liquid to get the right uh, annealing done in this part over here. Okay. So you've, I've shaken it so it's a it's a it's a nice uh, liquid or whatever. So it's greenish turquoise, and this you insert on the inside of the neck. You, you put a, a nice line for you in there and I hope you can see that uh, over there there's some some green or the turquoise over there so that is where, where I put the 750 now when I anneal this then I have to look in, in inside the case to see uh, when uh, that turns, you know, the clear, you know, the tempulac, it turns water clear uh, as soon as it reached uh, the temperature. Okay, as a reference, I'm go also going to put some of the 475 uh, Fahrenheit tempulac, uh, just to show you uh, where you can put it to make sure that you do not over anneal your brass. So I'm going to make a long strip from here about 10 millimeters long and there's the uh, the white tempulac uh, on that side there so it take a second a couple of seconds or so to uh, to clear there the green I can still see quite nicely in there so that one will be uh, annealed and then I'm also going to just show you uh, on this one uh, I'll, I'll do the same with that, about a, a 10 millimeters, or for those people that don't believe in millimeters, roughly about 3 eighths of an inch. Um, I'll, I'll put a, a line over there, and I'm going to put a little bit of the green one on the inside as well. So then we can compare. Then, then you know where you, you, you stand exactly with the annealing process. So I put the green inside here, and hopefully you can see that uh, there's some, so the green is inside there. Okay, so there's the inside, so that's the 750 on the inside. So the 750 wire, don't put it in the outside, because you will expose it directly to that flame uh, of uh, a thousand degrees Celsius uh, uh, or or even more, and it will basically just turn uh, you know transparent immediately. So if you put it inside, uh, or if you use the the high temperature, the 750 or the 700 degrees Celsius. Uh, uh, tempulac you put it inside because now it must go through the brass uh, which is about 0.35 or uh, roughly about um, uh, point, uh, one four ish you know it's a uh, thou uh, uh, you know 140 thou so so it has to, to transfer to, to get to the inside of the of the uh, the, the tempulac okay so I'm going to use um, 
you know, one of the, uh, the, the ones that I, I really like and I prefer to use uh, for, for many reasons. And uh, I just want to put it up here quickly. Okay, and this is the one that I like to use is the uh, the LP gas. Uh, 